I'm in my pajamas in my living room because I'm actually traveling for a couple of days and I didn't want to miss out on my self-tape practice because if I was going on vacation any other time of the year, I would still take my self-tape audition stuff like my tripod and my microphone in case I got an audition while I was traveling. It's very difficult to carry this with me. So I'm going to grab the scene from out of here, show it to you. I'm not going to look at it. And then the day uh, that I need to film the self-tape, then I will watch the video and see which scene I need to do. Here's day number 18. Here I am taking just a few minutes away from being with family so that I can do this self-tape practice. And something that I was thinking about is that I feel very much like the same when I'm doing every every scene. It just feels repetitive as far as the character that I'm playing because I'm trying to be as truthful as possible. So I'm like being me. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, I just saw that today's scene is a monologue from The Grinch, which is great because um, I'm doing this like so last minute. But at the same time, I'm a little afraid of this monologue because it is so extremely iconic. I mean, it's how The Grinch stole the Christmas and... <laughs> It's just very particular. I am going to try and relax and not think about the fact that uh, somebody else is going to see this. It's, this is an exercise. I need to decide where in this monologue I'm going to start and stop because it is a very long monologue. Let me take 15 minutes to prepare it. Boxes or bags. What would I wear? I'm green, isn't it? I decided I'm just going to do the beginning of the monologue because it does give me a good taste of the Grinch and it will allow me to play with both sides of like, this is somebody who hates Christmas because all of the past experiences that they've had, but at the same time, they're like wanting to love it and be a part of it because really everybody wants to belong and be loved. So I'm definitely going to play it like suspicious, angry, but curious. I've been alone for so long and I've, I had been treated poorly by everybody for so long that I decided that I'm the best person to be with myself. I'm finding it a bit difficult because I'm trying to really just look at the text, look at the lines and not think about the movie. I keep trying to practice it starting just really mad, but the maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store really brings me back of like um, thinking about like, what is the meaning of Christmas? Maybe I should just go for it. Okay, I have one more minute to prepare for my 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna try and go for it. If you don't know what I'm doing, um, first I apologize for like the terrible lighting because I am traveling right now and um, I just really had to squeeze it in today. But I'm doing self-tape practice every day in December until Christmas so that I have some acting practice and I do a 15 minute timer in order to prepare it. And during those 15 minutes, I just play around with the scene or monologue and then I perform it and show you the best take. Take one. I'm taking too long. I'm like dragging it out. I'm gonna try it again, but a little bit faster pace. One of the first few takes I liked best or the last take. So I can usually feel it when I just seem off or I said something wrong or the rhythm is off. But anyways, let me show you the best take from today and I'll see you tomorrow. It came without ribbons. It came without tags or packaging or boxes or bags. It's because I'm green, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe perhaps Christmas means a little bit more. The nerve of those who's inviting me down there and on such short notice. Even if I wanted to go, my schedule doesn't allow it. Four, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Uh, five, solve world hunger and tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. And I can't cancel that again. Uh, seven, wrestle with self-loathing. I'm booked. Of course, I could push self-loathing to nine and still be back in time to lay in bed and stare at the ceiling and slowly slip into madness. But what would I wear?